Hello and good morning. We are in Bostick, North Carolina at, uh, in Rutherford County at the Bostick Lincoln Center. So you may wonder why there is a Lincoln Center in uh, rural North Carolina here in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Local legend and story uh, going back really since the time of the, the Civil War and before tells the story that Abraham Lincoln was actually born here. Um, the son of his mother, Nancy Hanks, and illegitimately his supposed father, a man named Abraham Englow, who was a well-known local uh, planter and farmer in the area. So today we're going to share the story with you and the somewhat compelling evidence of why uh, these researchers believe that Abraham Lincoln was actually born a North Carolinian and born Abraham Hanks or Abraham Englow, um, only to later be adopted by his uh, supposed father, Mr. Lincoln. Um, so we're gonna hear the story here. We'll see some pictures and some artifacts. You can see here, at the Lincoln Center that they have some historical markers that tell the story. Um, so we'll get a chance to hear that story today. And then we're gonna go out to the actual home site, pictured here. Now this photo's from 1926. Uh, it's still standing, it's never been excavated except last weekend for about one hour by us and today we're gonna go a lot more in depth. Um, so we're going to take you to the home site, see if we can find any evidence of Abraham Lincoln actually having been born a North Carolinian. Um, last weekend, we, we planned to go do a whole day of it, but I was sick. We made it for about an hour, but we did find some exciting things. Um, so stay tuned. We'll show you that. And I think today's going to be a good one. Lincoln Center, we're a small museum located in the foothills of North Carolina, and we have a very interesting story. Uh, this area here, as I said, the foothills, what we call it before the real mountain start, back in the 1700s was the frontier, and people pretty much stopped. This was one of the last settlements. So our story here, that has a lot to do with our story that we believe that our uh, President Abraham Lincoln was born here, actually, in Rutherford County. Um, there was a wealthy, uh, for his time, wealthy planter named Abraham Inlow. Um, he took in a, a child who was left here with her mother, Lucy Hanks, came here and with her two children, Amanda and Nancy. Uh, they had nowhere to go. They split these two girls up. One family took Amanda, one took uh, the Inlow family, took Nancy. The mother found work as a spinner. She would weave for people. Uh, she was raised almost like one of the children. They were very good to her. She was what we would call now an indentured servant. But uh, it was told that she learned to read and write. They treated her very kindly. She was like sisters with the other girls in the family. He had a large family. For his time, he was a very a very wealthy person. He owned a lot of land. He bought up a lot of farms and land here, but his main residence was just a few miles up the road here uh, at the site that we have of where his cabin was. There's nothing left now but the stones from the English basement. Uh, of course, it was logs, so those have rotted and gone many years ago. But we do believe that uh, as at the time she became pregnant when she was in her late teens. And our premise is the fact that we believe that Abraham Inlow was the father. Now we cannot prove this. It's not proven. It would only be proven by DNA. 
And as we have people who come into the museum, we get them to sign a register that uh, we send into the uh, Department of Defense in Washington. We've been doing this for years. That hopefully one day uh, they will match Lincoln's DNA with the Inlow family and with other possible fathers. There were always rumors about Lincoln's father. It was just never proven that uh, Tom Lincoln was the actual father. So. Uh, that, that is our story. Uh, it is just a few miles up the road here on a little creek called Puzzle Creek. Uh, but it was, a, at the time, it was a very big, uh, it was not a grand plantation like we see in the Low Country or you see in Georgia, those types. It was an early, early uh, large log cabin. It was born not in, around 1804, 1805. We have records from a church here where he was put on the rolls where uh, Nancy went to church here at Concord Baptist Church, took him there and showed her friends little Abe. Uh, and the, re the resemblance that we have of the Enloe family in later years after the age of photography is amazing to me uh, that he, they look, they resemble uh, Lincoln so much. They would have been his, especially the boys in the family, they would have been his stepbrothers. So that's our story. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, interesting one. We, we just ask you to keep an open mind and it's, it's fascinating and there's a lot of things written about this that you can research and do yourself and thank you for your interest. Okay, I'm just going to film some of the... Yes, if you'll go down there and go that back. So we're in the uh, Lincoln Museum. Around that bookcase. Yeah. Show you all some of the artifacts and things that they have. Mm -hmm. Um, mystery on Puzzle Creek, which is where we'll be going today. Okay. And this is a picture of like Abraham. I, said, I used to swim there when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miss Betsy grew up out here, so yeah. this is Abraham Enloe's other son. Well, the, uh, yes, that's Wesley. Uh -huh. yeah. One of the more compelling photos that, that everybody really sees the resemblance in. They have a nice Lincoln Library here too, um, and some period things. One of my favorites. So right here we have a uh, enlistment papers with a Lincoln signature. These ones are from. I read it. 47th Infantry Regiment, 15th of December, 1864, I think. This is the Concord Baptist Church. Uh, and this is the church that Nancy Hanks, Lincoln mother, Lincoln's mother, supposedly attended shortly after his birth. Um, and in some of the eyewitness testimonies uh, from the Lincoln Center people state that she attended this church with Lincoln when he was a small dark-haired boy and uh, there's even one person who states that they uh, saw roles from the period membership roles from the church from the period that state that Lincoln Abraham uh, Hanks and Nancy Hanks uh, were parts of this church upon his birth. So this church was originally organized in 1804. This is not the original building. Um, and I actually think the original location is just over that hill over there. But an interesting part of the story nonetheless. Um, so we're just pulling off from the Concord Baptist Church where Nancy and little Abraham were supposedly members. And I should add, obviously if those records still existed, that showed that they were members, that might add a lot of uh, credence to the story. That'd be great evidence. Unfortunately, the records were supposedly uh, stored in someone's house, uh, which burned down in the last few decades. So all that was lost. All right, well, I guess we're out here with uh, Relic Kid, Jackson, Gentleman Jeff. What's your channel's name? I forget. Treasure what? Monk. Treasure Monk, that's right. 
I got a little bit of a cold, but uh, we decided to tough it out and come do this today because we've been planning on this for about a year. We are at the birth site, one of the birth sites of Abraham Lincoln. And it's right about his birthday too. Uh, today's February 8th and I think his birthday is what, the 12th or something? So it's coming up pretty soon. <clears throat> so we're in Bostock, North Carolina, which is just a little bit down the street. Uh, from where I live. In fact, we were living in Bostick until fairly recently. Um, and they have here the Bostick Lincoln Center. So local legend going all the way back to the 19th century is that Abraham Lincoln was born here uh, to his mother, Nancy Hanks, and uh, illegitimately to his father, allegedly Abraham Enlow, who was a wealthy planter whose plantation was just up on this hill. Um, Abraham Enloe looks a whole lot like Lincoln. That's one of the more compelling parts of the story. Uh, and he was a very wealthy man. In fact, this is uh, one of at least two homes he had in the Western Carolinas. He may have had even more. Um, so they've done a lot of research on it. They've tried to get DNA testing uh, to happen. That hasn't happened yet. Um, what they, they also haven't had any archaeology done out here. So we volunteered that we would come out and just do a little detecting. Anything that we find today will go to the Boston Lincoln Center. Um, we'd love to find some period buttons and coins to give them. Um, I'd like to find some nice, you know, household iron relics that we could preserve and, and get ready for them to display. Would be good. Um, and all, obviously any personalized items, anything monogrammed or anything would be exceptional. I don't know that there's anything we can find that would prove that Lincoln was born here. Um, but you never know, right? So we're going to go see what we get into. Should be fun. You wanna film? All right, so we're walking into the site. Um, we had a lot of rain here yesterday. Look here where those big rocks have just washed out from under that road we're about to walk up. That just happened this week. Yeah, our creek where the gold planning video took place is much nicer now. It moved a bunch of rocks in a nice way and we have a sand beach now a little wooden railing on the bridge obviously you cannot metal detect here the owners live on property um, and the conservators all live around they keep a close eye on it but it's a special deal today where we're doing it for them and everything goes to the museum This is Lincoln Hill, birthplace of Abraham Lincoln, 1806 to 1865. Bostick Historical Society. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the trail up. We'll go up above the creek here. Now we're walking above the giant rocks that just washed out. <clears throat> so hopefully we don't fall into the river. Come on. I've never been up here. None of us have. So we're gonna see what it looks like. I'm wondering why we didn't drive up here. You know, if not for those <coughs> rocks washed out, I'd say we should. Okay. So here's where the trail forks. Some fields down below. Rocky up here. <clears throat> Alright, well it turned out to be quite a one step of that. Quite a walk up the hill to get here. 
and I think we're here. <clears throat> That's foundation. Cellar hole. So this is it. Early cellar hole. Possible birthplace of Lincoln. I guess that's the chimney stack. With the left of it. Whew. That walk with this cold was not good. Alright, well... Working around the cellar hole lip. I assume that's the chimney stack over there. I don't see any other pile that would be. <clears throat> We've only been at it a few minutes, but I found a broken piece of a pot, iron pot, and just now right here, just above the cellar hole. That one I think is going to be the first button. I assume it's a button. Don't see a shank or anything, but we'll let that dry and check it out more later. Jeff's looking down there, and right over here, that's where the first button was, and <clears throat> just a little bit above that. Here, dug another flat button. I don't know if I have anything on it, but again, we'll let it dry and check it later. <clears throat> I'm trying to hang in there. So, digging around hell. Another little button. This one has a nice big shank on it. And it sounded like there might be something else in there, so let's check. Maybe. We'll check it off camera. All right, well, we haven't moved very far. Just right over here by the last button. Got another little cuff button. Right there. All right, so you can get, you know, you do the whole thing. So you got a signal here that's 77 on the AT Gold. Sounds real good. So we got Relic Kid to film it. I assume it's going to be hopefully a coin, but if not, maybe a nice button. Of course, there's going to be a root. Since we decided to film it, there has to be a root. Still down in there. down in there and of course I just took my glove off to turn on the camera so now I'm digging without gloves what about that all right well here it is popped out and that's gonna be a buckle um, a broken shoe buckle or a knee buckle so Clean that up later. Cool. All right, so we're down here in this little hole, and I'm not having a lot of luck because I think we've determined that they um, graded through here and, and just left the cellar hole, which is right here. So probably outside of the immediate vicinity of the hole, we're not going to find much. But we did find this little piece that uh, maybe a cuff link or a settle, a doorman or something. We'll let it dry before we scrape it off and see if it has anything on it.
right. We wrapping it up because I think I'm not feeling great. Uh, we wanted to go a lot longer, and I hate that uh, Treasure Monk drove down for a short day, but we come back. Um, <clears throat> at least we know that there is some things there, so we'll have some stuff in the museum, which is good. Did you have fun, Jackson? Yeah. Have fun too. I'm just not feeling good, so we'll come back another day. What'd you think? Good deal. Good finds. All right, so we <coughs> weren't there too long, but we found. Move out of the light, please. A couple of buckles, These are brass buckle pieces. Um, let's see, one, two, three cuff buttons. A little, uh, I don't know it's like Kepi buckle, but something similar. Jeff got a nice big dandy button. That's a good one. And I got a couple just normal buttons. They may have something on them to clean them up. We'll see later. And one more big one. Lots of this graphite. It's just like pencil graphite. I mean, it'll write good. I don't know why that's out there. Plow point. Some pieces of cooking pots. Another part of a plow. Part of a cooking pot. Head of a railroad spike or something. Shotgun shell. Yeah. Mule or ox shoe. That's about it. So we have some stuff at the museum at least. We didn't find Abe Lincoln. <laughs>